Just like you, I had also taken science stream after my class 10. And just like you, I was also very confused what are the career options I have although I have taken science stream. Is there just engineering and medical as the career option? Because I was very passionate about physics. I was very passionate about, you know, arc reactor of Iron Man after watching the Iron Man movie. I was very curious that all these biotechnology stuff, the gene editing, the X-Men thing, right? Is it possible to actually make them using science? Because there was so much scientific theory told in those movies and I was very interested literally. So I was also very confused that I want to become like Iron Man, X-Men, you know, Magneto, but how to do that? So in this video, you will get to know all the career options you have after have chosen science stream. You already know about J examination where more than 12 lakh students are registering every year for the examination for few thousand seats. Same way for NEET examination, more than 25 lakh students are now participating in this examination for just few thousand seats. And the competition is very intense, huge. There are so many news about the suicide cases. In the hospitals, even doctors are being beaten up, which is really unfortunate. So probably you are wondering what are the options I have other than JE and NEET examination. So in this video, you will get to know each and everything. What are the top institutes in India where you can go? These are made by either MHRD, Ministry of Human Resource and Development, or by Department of Atomic Energy and the fees is literally very very less you get scholarship you get to enjoy world-class infrastructure facilities world's top scientists teach you you get to decide your own project which are worth 10 to 20 lakhs you buy your own chemicals you want to make a nano material go on make it nobody is there to stop you right you have full freedom and the faculties the network the batchmates you have the college life is really really fun hi everyone this is your vivek bhaiya alumnus of nizer bhuvneshwar by department of atomic energy and in this video i am going to tell you all the various career options you have and the institutes where you can go other than je and neat examination so with that let's start the video so let us first explore why you should even care about these examinations or the institutions as you can see here first let's see here Actually, wider career choices in pure sciences, physics, chemistry, maths, bio, statistics. In all of these areas, I will tell you the institutes and the examinations. Then world-class infrastructure, facilities. You get to study from the top scientists around the world. Fees is very less, a scholarship you get. And ultimately, if you want to become that X-Men and you want to invent things, you love science, these are the institutes for you. The first one is called Indian Institute of Science, ASI Bangalore. All of you know about it. It is called Father of IITs, right? Then we have IIT Madras. We have seven ISERs, Indian Institute of Science Education and Research, ISER Pune, Kolkata, Mohali, Bhopal, Brahampur, Tiruvananthpuram, Tirupati, right? Seven ISERs all over India and different parts of India. Then we have Nizer Bhubaneswar by Department of Atomic Energy. We have CBS Mumbai. Nizer is in Bhuvaneshwar, CBS is in Mumbai Center for Excellence in Basic Sciences, National Institute of Science Education and Research. Then we have Chennai Mathematical Institute, Indian Statistical Institute and Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science where Professor C. V. Raman did his research and got Nobel Prize in Science for Raman Effect, right? It is the only institute among these IACS which has got the Nobel Prize and given the first Science Nobel Prize of India. Entrance Examination so let us explore if you want to get admission into these institutes, what are the exams you need to crack. For ISERs, ISC Bangalore and IITs, the degree you get is Bachelor of Science and Master of Science. The examination is ISER Aptitude Test. For NISER and CBS, the examination is called National Entrance Screening Test, NEST examination. And you get admission to NISER, Bhuvneshwar, CBS, Mumbai. The course or degree here is Integrated MSc. You do BSc 3 years plus MSc 2 years combined 5 years. Same here. Now, uh, the new education policy has been launched for all of these ISERs. That means after 2nd year, 3rd year, 4th year, you have an exit option in some of the ISERs. But it is not launched in all of these institutes. At Chennai Mathematical Institute, you pursue degree in Mathematics, Computer Science and Physics. Dual degree also is offered. Then IACS Kolkata again, Physics, Chemistry, Mass, Bio, Integrated MSc course just like NISER and CBS. At ISI, you have degree in Statistics and Mathematics. Okay, now we have Engineering from our Research Institute. Oh yes, 
actually for the first time in history of Pfizer's Pfizer Bhopal has launched BTech course. So till now Pfizer Bhopal already has BSMS courses in engineering, science, economic science. But since they were already giving this BSMS degree, why not give the BTech degree as well? And which is definitely going to improve the placements at these institutes. So they have started offering BTech from 2025 onwards for chemical engineering data science and engineering, electrical engineering and computer science. Then the program types, as I told you, it is four year BTEC as well as five years BTEC MTech dual degree. If you continue for one more year, you will get MTech degree as well. Generally, it will take six years for you, right? Four years of BTEC and two years of MTech. But here you can get both in five years. The objective of this program is obviously to uh, merge the research with engineering, developing the critical thinking ability, technical skills, and it is very much a research oriented approach to the BTEC program because they already had these are the research institutes, right? Indian Institute of Science Education and Research. So this is the latest course which will be launched from 2025 onwards. The examination is not yet clear whether the admission will happen through JE or ISER aptitude test. So next, what do we have? We have the potential career options. Yes, this is the main part, right? So first option is you can become a professor or academician in physics chemistry maths biology then you have the role of research scientist astrophysics astrobiology quantum physics genetics b you name it any area in physics chemistry maths and bio you can become a scientist in that through these institutions then you have environmental sciences climate conservation let me give an example so all of these institutes have earth and planetary science department at nizer also we had earth and planetary science department and the scientists there currently have collaboration with isro chandrayaan 3 they have collaboration with nasa uh, and so on right so these are the opportunities that you get in these institutions you can become data scientist you can work in technology finance from isi and cmi i have made a detailed video by the way for all of these placement options you can check here for isi cmi also there is a detailed video on placement how you can uh, become an investment banker you can go to qualitative quantitative finance and so on right you have quantum physicist option everyone uh, nowadays is just fond of quantum physics quantum computing, cryptography, uh, tech industries, basically advanced research labs. You can work in Google, Meta. You can contribute to the, you know, training of Gemini or chat GPT of OpenAI and so on. Then you have biochemistry, molecular biology rules, cellular biology, as I told. So this kind of actually includes all of these. There are broadly two categories. One is academia, second is industry. If you come to academia, the best path is to become professor, assistant professor, associate professor, lecturer in various institutes in India. You can go to IITs. For example, most of my seniors of Nizer are now at, now professors at IIT Kanpur, IIC Bangalore and so on, HRI, right? Uh, Harish Chandra Research Institute or you have option to go to industry and become a scientist research scientist there the salaries are really really good in India as well as abroad in abroad the packages can go as high as above one crore as well right then we have okay some more students so this is Aizar Bhopal we have Nizer Bhubaneswar, Aizar Mohali we have over 2000 students in all of these top research institutes including SC Bangalore, Seven Aizers, Nizer, ICMI, IACS and so on right so with that see you at your dream institute start working hard and preparing well if you have any doubts problems you can comment below or message me directly on sastra app with that all the best Jai. Mm -hmm.